Hey guys, so I have a few errands to run today, but there just so happens to be a Hobby Lobby where I'm at. So I also found out that they were doing a 40% off sale on puzzles. So I don't think it's gonna hurt to take a quick peek inside. So let's go in and see what they have. Point graphics. That's possible. Oh, I like this one. Puzzle collector. This is Rose Art. Oh, that's a possible one. I like that one. We got some white mountain ones down here. Spring box. Oh, you know what? I saw this one at that ghost store. This is $19.99, but 40% off. That's a good Yo. deal. Oh, we also have a candy store. Snack treats. Oh, nothing better than snacks. We got some masterpiece ones with called Hometown and Home Country. These look so cute. We have some Cobble Hill as well. Those are really nice. So you can find. This looks interesting. It's 1,000 pieces. Build, a fu build the puzzle to find 10 missing objects. I might get this one. I love this image as well. And that's only $12.99, so at 40% off, that's gonna be a good deal. We got the drive-in one here as well that I saw in the other store. A Springbok. I wish they had the breakfast one. I really wanted that breakfast one for the, from the White Mountain Puzzles. We do have the movies. We have, again, the drive-in movies. Might get that American Diner one, I don't know. We got some really pretty neurographics ones here. I know the last one I got was the cookie one, but these are some beautiful images. The only thing is they're only 300 pieces. I much prefer puzzles with a bigger count. Let's see what else we got here. We have this beautiful one here from Crown Point Graphics. That's not a brand that I have. That one's really cool. Oh my God, this is lovely. Look at that. That's definitely my house back there, right in front of the water. This one looks like it would be quite hard though, especially with all the sky and the water and the plant. This is absolutely beautiful. We have an Aquarius one here with Garfield on it. Have another Aquarius with friends. I really am trying to look for anything with the reduced sticker tag on it. That one is absolutely beautiful. And we do have a couple Disney ones here, but I actually have this one. I don't have the Pixar one, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I should pick up something else. Oh, look at this one here. This is Hometown Celebrations, Back to the Past. Oh, this looks like fun. I love things like this. My favorite thing about going to places like this is the food. We got cotton candy, look some pie there. Got some hot dogs. Mm, now I'm hungry. What brand is this? This is Rose Art. You know what? I don't actually have a rose art puzzle. This is a possibility. That will be in the maybe pile. I want to get everything. Oh, wait a minute. We do have some Disney puzzles here. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I know I have this one in a four pack, so we're not going to get that one. I have this one as well. Are there any here that I do not have? Oh, you know what's crazy, guys? I actually have all these. I have Alice, I have Tiana. Oh man, I wish there was one here that I didn't have, but I actually had one. Oh, that's all right. That's good to know though for next time. They might restock some more. What brand is this here? This is Rose Art as well. We got cupcakes, we got cereals, peanuts, another peanuts one. There was actually a puzzle that I saw on the center aisle, but someone grabbed it already. So I'm a little sad about that, but that's okay. Cause there's still tons of options here and I am just trying to figure out which one to pick up. There's so many nice ones. And honestly, you can't go wrong with 40% off. What do you think I should pick up? This. Let me see. Oh. I don't want you to cut that. I don't blame you. 
We did see this in the last store. It was more expensive. So at 40% off, it's going to be much cheaper. I do love me diner food. You should get a shopping cart. No, I don't need a shopping cart. If I get if I get a shopping cart, do you know what's going to happen? What? I'm going to fill it with puzzle boxes. Okay. And then I'll end up leaving with like 50 get boxes. Get it, get it. Come on, no, get it. No, 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 no. This one's crazier. This one's fun. Let's look at the Cobble Hill ones that we have here. We do have one with donuts, because you know, who doesn't love donuts? And I like the farm style ones as well. This one is really pretty though. I'd love to be hanging out on the deck here. Hey, come on, let's get a shopping cart. No, no, don't make me get a shopping cart. That's dangerous. Why? Because I'll end up filling it with boxes and boxes. Come on, just do it. No, don't encourage that behavior from me. What am I doing? I'm not being bad. You're trying to make me buy more than what I need. Ooh, I really like this one from Eurographics. This is a potting shed. Oh, that's yeah. really fun. You know, as I said before, I'm not much of a green thumb, but if I was, I would definitely have a shed like this. This is so pretty. It's only 500 pieces, so that's a good quick one. I say quick, and to be honest, I'm not really that quick with 500 piece puzzle, but that's okay. Oh, wow, look at this one. Farmer's Market. Oh, that's fun. Where is, what brand is this? This is Masterpieces. Look at that. Oh my God, I want to be there. I don't know whose dog that is though. There's nobody around and there just happens to be a dog laid there. Why is there always the dog hanging around aimlessly? That's so strange. Here's another Your Graphics one. This is really pretty. This one has extra large pieces. So I don't know. Let me see. Does it have a it will have a size of the entire puzzle 19 by 26 which is pretty large for a 300 piece puzzle so that's interesting that's probably one my kid could do look at this 1000 piece easy grip one that's pretty fun that's like a yard sale this is masterpieces and that's 1000 pieces large pieces so how big is this 34 by 20 that's a big puzzle wow this would be nice look at that back to the future this has a lot of cool things in it. This is really nice, but I don't think it'll actually fit on my puzzle table. So I don't know, I would need to measure my table again. I keep forgetting what it is. We got flowers, we have doggies here if you're into animal puzzles. What brand do we have here? Vermont Christmas Company, I've never heard of that. Do they have any other puzzles here by that brand with different images? Hmm. I really love the masterpiece images that they have here. And the price is really not bad. I think I might pick up another masterpieces because I mean, you can't pass up this deal. This is awesome. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this area. I'm gonna walk around the store and see if they have any other puzzles on display. And if so, we can determine further from there. Okay, so we have some more white mountain puzzles up here. We have this Seiko, which I already have, so that would be a good deal at 40% off. Oh, we got some pretty Seiko ones from Thomas Kincaid. But I really want to try to get puzzles from brands that I don't currently have, or ones that I don't have too many from of the same brand, if that makes sense. Kind of start like building up my collection of different brands. We have this one here from KI Puzzles, some roosters and chickens. We got a Kodak one with a bunch of random puppies on the back of a truck. Some more masterpieces. And we also have a Lego one here with minifigures and some more masterpieces. I really love masterpieces. All right, they have a really good selection here, but I think it's time to make a final decision and I guess see what we end up taking with us after I do some calculations and see, well, make sure that I'm not gonna be spending too much today because you know, got a budget. Filming in Hobby Lobby was quite a challenge. And the reason I say that is because compared to the last Puzzle Shop With Me video that I did, you know, the ghost store was much quieter. I mean, we were pretty much the only two people in the store. Hobby Lobby is a whole different story. Obviously there were people everywhere. There was tons of noise through the speakers, music. It was a little difficult. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay in that footage and it's not too 
jumbled and messy. I did my best, but my goodness, what a huge bargain. Hit that like button if you're a fan of shopping for puzzles at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, it was just by chance that I decided to look online before I headed out there just to see if they just so happen to have any puzzle sale going on. And luckily enough, they were having one. I know during the Christmas season, they usually have the holiday puzzles at 50% off, I believe. But hey, 40% off, that's pretty darn good. But enough of that. I know you guys really wanna see what bargains I picked up. And I have my receipt this time so I can give you the exact breakdown of what I spent. So my original intention was just to pick up a couple puzzles, right? Of course I ended up buying four. But I mean, come on, at 40% off, can you blame me? So our first one here is called Hometown Celebration. And this is from the company Rose Art. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 27 inches by 20 inches. And this is from Rose Art's Back to the Past series by Edward Wargo. And what's great about this Rose Art set is that it does come with a bonus puzzle poster. So you know me, I love having posters just for like to have that reference image. And it also makes me feel like I'm getting more for my money. And the original price of this set was $11.99, but I ended up only paying $7.19 for it. So it was a good $4.80 off. That's what I'm talking about. This is a great looking box. I love the colors used in this image. For one, I love festivals. Or is this a carnival? I don't know the difference. But you got a lot going on here. We have food, which is really my main focus when I go to places like this. We got some live music playing, some games. You would definitely find me in one of these places. If there's a festival or a carnival going on, you're probably gonna see me there. And the back of this box has other sets from this series. And I am absolutely loving all these images. This has like a really fun retro feel to it. So the next time I go to Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna kind of be on the lookout for this Back to the Past series and see if I can grab any of the ones that are on the back here because this looks like a lot of fun. That's a real good bargain. The next set that I picked up is from Masterpieces and I own Masterpiece puzzles, but this one had a different challenge to it. And this is a Seek and Find puzzle. It is called Antiques for Sale. It's 1,000 pieces and it is 26.75 by 19.25 inches when it's completed. Like all Masterpieces puzzles, it does include a poster. Big plus. This is a Seek and Find puzzle. And you are supposed to build the puzzle to find 10 missing objects. It does show you the images you need to find, but what it does state is that the images were removed from the puzzle image on the front of the box and the bonus poster. Now I'm gonna be honest here. I did try to look through this image and see if I spotted any of these little hidden objects inside before I read, you know, the top part that's saying it's not even there. So it kind of like caught me cheating. But you know, I was just curious. I just wanted to see if I'd find it. But you know, they knew what I was up to, obviously. But aside from that little extra challenge that this set gives you, I love this image. It looks like the owner of this shop is Aunt Teeks. Aunt Teeks is selling her antiques. Who knows, maybe I'm antique. But if I was, I would not be selling most of the items that are out on display here. I mean, that's a pretty good little dining set there. I would put that on my porch or something. And that tractor looks to be in good shape as well. I'm putting all this stuff back. Oh, check this out. I look to be selling my cat off as well. Maybe I got tired of him making a mess in my house. But anyways, in general, I love barns. My favorite looking barn houses are like the dilapidated ones, which, you know, may sound strange to some people, but I think they have quite a bit of beauty to them. You know, if you look really close. But anyways, I don't know, this seems like something I can do with my daughter in terms of like trying to find the objects within the image. I think she would have fun with that. The original price of this one was $12.99, but I only ended up paying $7.99 in the end. That's a $5.20 savings. I'm telling you, I really lucked out at Hobby Lobby. The next one that I picked up, and I have to say, I'm really excited about this one because I saw this one in the store that I went to in my first Puzzle Shop With Me video. And I almost grabbed this one, and I'm glad that I didn't because I got this one at 40% off. I finally picked up American Diner, and this is by White Mountain Puzzles. It is 1,000 pieces, and it is 24 inches by 30 inches when it's completed. I really can't wait to start a White Mountain Puzzle. Now this is gonna be tough 
because I love both of the ones I have and I don't know which one I'm going to start with first. So that may very well be a decision that I leave to you guys when the time comes for me to start my White Mountain Puzzle reviews. I mean, just look at this image. It's a diner. I absolutely love diners. You can't beat their 20 page menus, the relaxed atmosphere, and of course the amazing food. And we got a lot going on here. We got a couple here dancing. We have a group of friends eating some good food. That cup of coffee looks real good. And this woman here just happens to be in hysterics. Look, that's me back there. I decided to channel Marilyn Monroe, all just because I was too excited to go out to eat. I'm telling you, I love food. Now this one was $19.99 at full price, but I ended up only paying $11.99, a savings of $8. So I'm really glad that I waited to pick this one up because I got it for even cheaper at Hobby Lobby. And the last puzzle that I picked up is from the company Crown Point Graphics. And this one is called Balloon Glow. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 28 inches by 19.25 inches when it's completed. The back of the box has a little bit about the artist here and does state that there is a poster included in this set and that this puzzle also has random cut puzzle pieces. I'm really starting to like those in my puzzle sets. Gives it that fun little extra challenge. This is absolutely beautiful. That is totally my house right in front of the water. And you can't beat that view of the mountains in the back. What a peaceful, serene image. And you have all these hot air balloons floating in the sky. I love the use of colors and tones in this image because a lot of this looks like it's glowing. And this is very, you know, hang up on the wall worthy. Now the original price for this set was $14.99, but I ended up only paying $8.99 for a $6 savings. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong going to Hobby Lobby when they are having their 40% off sale on puzzles. If I didn't also buy my daughter a stuffed toy, my entire bill for four brand new puzzle sets would have been under $40. I had a total savings of $24. That's a great deal. Because you know what I can do with the $24 that I had just saved? Buy more puzzles. You didn't hear that. But anyways, we have one, two, three, four. Four awesome brand new puzzle sets for under $40. Yeah. You need to go to Hobby Lobby and make sure that you go when they're having their 40% off sale. Let me know down below what was the best bargain you got on a brand new puzzle. And was it at Hobby Lobby or was it somewhere else? When the weather starts getting nicer, I do plan to kind of venture out more in my local area and start checking out like the flea markets, the thrift stores, because I'm really curious to find out if they even sell any puzzles at all. And if so, what do they charge for them? Because uh, let's be honest here, times are rough and it's getting harder and harder to kind of fund your hobbies. But anyways, guys, thanks for shopping with me today. Hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one.